Hey, welcome to 10 Minute Tasks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transform a boring backyard into a beautiful backyard oasis. Okay, when I look at this backyard, I think that it needs a deck, and this is a renter friendly option for you right now. Let me show you. This is my backyard right here. Instead of a deck, I just laid down a 10 by eight waterproof rug. Mind that you will kill the grass underneath. Instead of spending thousands of dollars on a deck, you can spend about $250 on a waterproof rug. You can find these online. I'll leave a link in the description. I like the colors here. They're bright and white and just look fun and fresh. Another thing you wanna do is get some furniture. I found these at the farmer's market. Actually, my husband picked them up at the farmer's market and they were not painted white. And I got this really durable, heavy duty paint that's good for outdoors. And anytime it needs a repaint, it's super easy just to roll it on and keep it white. And it doesn't look dirty all the time. That's kind of what I was worried about living in Florida with all the rain, but it's been fine. Okay, also these you can pick up at World Market. They sell them all over the place, but these I just think were the cutest, so. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is get an umbrella. Now, umbrellas usually have a cement build-in right here, but I couldn't do a cement build-in. And to buy the weight for it online is very expensive. So what I did instead is I went to Home Depot or Lowe's and got four of these to hold this part of the umbrella down. And then I grabbed one of these. It's like a spongy type of tree covering. And these are stones that I also bought at Lowe's. So the next thing you want to do in your backyard is get some plants. Now, these are banana trees and these were not here when we moved in. So we didn't know these would pop up, but I'm glad they did because they definitely add a nice backdrop to our seating area and pick up some nice tropical looking trees or some uh, pine trees that last really well and you don't have to water as much and add them as a backdrop to your seating area. And I went on Amazon and bought these tree pots and it's a cloth that is very durable and it's also good for watering because it just soaks right through. I went to the local nursery and bought a bunch of soil for the trees and then the trees were about $75.80 per tree. So this one right here is an avocado tree. And then I have this one right here. It's, I still have the tag on here. It's a peach tree. Uh, this right here is already flowering. Isn't it beautiful? Now this is my Mercot tree. It's like a tangerine type of tree. And trees also create a really nice backdrop in your backyard. You can also line them up along the fence or other areas to create more dimension. You can really get creative with trees. This is my garden over here. This is how it's doing, by the way. Some of you were asking, um, I need to water it more or less, or do I? Let's see. Sometimes when it rains, it just gets too much water in there. But these, I think I could plant them. Um, some of them didn't grow very well, and some of them are coming back. So still working on that. This is my garlic chives. It's doing really well. Oh, it says cucumber. 
Now I got two of these clay pots. They're definitely more expensive than the terracottas or the cloth pots, but I just think they're so beautiful. They're around $70 each. The terracotta ones, they look great as well and they drain really well. So that's also an option. And you can also paint them if you don't like the terracotta look. I think the color is beautiful. Another thing I did to make my backyard an oasis is I hung planters. So these I drilled onto the fence and they can be easily removed. I have fennel growing here and you can put any type of pot that you want that fits and when they get dirty you can just brush them off with dish soap and water and leave them out to dry another thing you can do is create a pathway to your deck which is the rug and you can pick out any stone that you want and easily place them on the grass this is a very temporary pathway you could make and easily take the stones along with you if you decide to move. And I got this table on Wayfair and it's a metal table and it did get really dirty at one point and I just spray painted it white and it looked pretty good. I need to just probably wipe it at this point to make it look good again, but not much work. Okay, that is how you transform a boring backyard into a beautiful backyard oasis if you liked this video be sure to give it a thumbs up you can also subscribe to my channel there's my little toddler wants to say hello you want to say hello hey whoa mama <laughs> all right well thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video peace see you in the next one say peace peace